Mike and Era was in a six foot lane. Then when we went to the next era, it was in the 12 foot lane because Wilt changed it from a six foot lane. to. That's why all of those rebounds by the, all of the guys in the 40s mm -hmm. if it were so high yeah. because shooting percentages are so low. And then the fact that there were so many rebounds and they were close to the basket. Then all of a sudden, boom, we got to make it out here now because of Kareem and what these guys are doing. We want to make the game easier, so we open it up to 16 feet. Well, with those guys, not only now do they have to extend their game in the post-ups and what you were running for them, but in order for them to get the rebounds, and they had to now, you know, really work, and it's and it's difficult at 16 feet, okay? I, I don't mean to, like, sound too much X's and O's, but I have a great respect for all of those teams during those eras, just like all of those players, you see? And I said this uh, the other day when I talked to the NBA people, and uh, I said, look, LeBron James is the best player today. Stop getting in arguments that he's better than Michael Jordan, Michael Jordan's better than LeBron James, so forth than that. And then the old guys will tell you Oscar Robertson better than both of them. It depends upon who you talk to. And, and then right away, these people, they look at me, and I said, wait a second, will you check Oscar's first five years in the league? I said, all the average added up. Yeah, they gave him a triple-double for one year because they would not round off the 9.6, 7, and 8. Just look it up into another 10. Oscar Robertson, when you add it all up, for five years averaged 30, 10, and 10 overall. So who's to say Oscar Robertson couldn't get 30 today? And I'll tell you why, and this is what I said to them. I put that hand on your hip, Jack, and you're a guard, and you're a small forward, and I put my hand and call that hand checking with these guys with hands this big, and they move you, and they press you full court, and they put that hand, and then as you start to go by them, start to go by me, come on. We were able to use, we were able to use that forearm as soon as it's like football. All of a sudden now, the defensive halfback can't get you past five yards. Why? Because they want more scoring. So today, we've got a green light for these guards and small forwards to get to the rim now, and you have to play them perfectly without the hand contact or the forearm. When you talk Oscar Robertson and you talk Michael Jordan, you know what they, I said to the guys? When you don't believe what it was like in the 70s and 80s, will you please watch the documentary on the Detroit bad guys? And nobody got thrown out of those games. And you saw guys flying into the stand. Mike, you were there. Come on. I mean, it, was, it was a joke. I mean, today, you would, on one hit, you'd be suspended for a month there, OK? And that's why it's hysterical when these guys are bitching about going to the rim. They don't know what it was like to go to the rim in the 70s and 80s, because you might not get up again. And then you had to take all of those hits like Jordan and the Gervins and all of the guys that were the big and Magic and Bird and all these guys. Come on, it was, uh, it, it was, um, if you were in the 70s and 80s as a coach or a player, the beauty of the game, the IQ of the game, the continuities and the sets that teams ran were just absolutely gorgeous to watch. And then the physical yeah. defensive part you better be running good stuff, Jack, or you're not getting a good shot all night here, okay?